What's up guys, this is Andrew Smursek with Combat Art Training. Want to give you guys a quick video, a little tactical tip, way to save you guys some money, slash extreme gear queer moment. Anyways, if you haven't already watched it, watch my battle belt setup video and watch the review on the 1.5 inch Cobra Duty belt. Best fucking belts around, I wear it for EDC and it's also my battle belt. Um, for you who don't know, double scuba webbing, super rigid, super stiff. Soft loop, which is the fuzzy Velcro, and then the inner belt has the hook, which is the scratchy Velcro. You wear that inside your pants and Velcro it over your belt instead of trying to weave it or um, use keepers or something crazy like that. So SOE right here, SOE right here, SOE triple mag pouch, awesome shit. This is going to be replaced with a CQB subload as soon as my order's fulfilled. And then um, inside here, I have an SOE pull-out med tray like that, which is an easy solution to um, put a trauma kit on your person. So I've got that on my belt. And it, you can also, of course, it's a magazine pouch, just stuff it inside a uh, chest rig or on your kit uh, if you have... Um, an extra magazine pouch to stuff that inside there. They also make tear off med tray, a small one and a full size one. That's even better. But this is what I got on here. A very inexpensive option. I want to show you guys stuff like that. So you get something quality, um, and you get your whole rig being quality without busting the bank. So you can still pay for my classes. Anyways, that's the safari land, uh, double mag pouch, M16 double mag pouch, and I used to have it mounted back here, but that sucked because driving would give me lower back pain. Why are you wearing it while driving? Well, I want to make sure my gear is good wherever I go. So um, I would wear it to and from the range, and because it puts you a, a couple inches uh, off the seat, you start to get lower back pain. And, and then also if you sit inside a folding chair, when you stand up, the folding chair comes with you, uh, which is very embarrassing. Anyways, <clears throat> so how do I do this? Very simple. Took a razor and I slowly cut away the threads underneath these straps right here. Then I took the straps that would weave with the molly and uh, inside these straps going the other way. And I just put them underneath, if you can see right here, and I buttoned it in. And then I slid zip ties through, and I slid it over this side of the belt with the med tray in there. Wasn't a big deal. I slid it over this side of the belt, and I pulled those zip ties tight. Now, zip ties are really cool because uh, also if you got a holster that's wiggling around or anything, any pouch that's wiggling around, you can just zip tie it tight. Now, don't worry about your hands getting hurt. Just don't be a girl about it. Not a big deal. Um, but I got a two inch hole for this holster, the Safari Land uh, holster with whatever mount that is. And I was able to secure it tight with the zip ties. That's a mouse clip right there, which I just left on there. But that was my first solution. It didn't really work as well as I thought. That's a trick I learned from John Dufresne, Mocha Bear Connect Consulting. Look him up. But, anyways, now. I have the med tray in a position where I can pull it out easily with both hands. It's not going to give me lower back pain. Also, having the pistol mag pouches over here, I'm able to get at them with both hands when it connects in the middle. The only problem is when I'm in the prone, it's going to raise me up off the ground a little bit. But that will keep my dick from getting bit by fire ants. And I really like that. Um, and I'd rather have that then get lower back pain. I'm less worried about getting shot in my big ass than I am having lower back pain. Anyways, buy SOE gear, check out my website, sign up for a class, and keep fighting communism.